Welcome to Art Scene and welcome to Miami. We're here for Art Basel Miami Beach Week and the only thing I'd rather do than put on a bikini and go run in the ocean is to show you some art fairs. We're gonna check out Scope, Untitled, Aqua, and Art Miami. So let's go see. Every December in Miami, event producers host over a dozen art fairs where art galleries buy space to show amazing artworks from all over the world. At these fairs, you'll find art, sellers, buyers, fans, and sometimes even an artist. I'm here with the brilliant artist, Lucy Sparrow, at Sparrow's Deli. And what, what are each of these pieces made out of? So everything is made out of felt, and it's painted with fabric paint, which is kind of like acrylic based. Is there anything that you want the audience to know about you or your work? I think that, you know, art is allowed to be fun. It, it doesn't have to be serious all the time, and that's like the main message with this. I hope that people enjoy it, and it brings a smile to their faces. So I think that's so, so important. I'm at the Art Haas booth with John Haas from New York. John, can you tell me a little bit about the significance of having a retrospective in a booth at an art fair? Absolutely. It's something that I've never done before, but I felt very confident and excited to do it. Miriam's had an incredible career, starting with the Venice Biennale representing Israel. And as you look throughout the booth, you see the strength and the power of who she is as an international contemporary painter. In the art world, I don't think we get to see a high percentage of successful female painters, and Miriam is one of them. Very different in style to Cabeza, street artist Swoon is another powerful contemporary female artist. Based in Brooklyn, Swoon is the first living street artist to get a solo show at the acclaimed Brooklyn Museum. I am here at Scope at the MRG Gallery from Los Angeles with New York artist Garib Seamus. Garib, how has the Scope Art Fair been for you? The show has been incredible. I got a chance to meet literally tens of thousands of people that have never seen my work before. Can you tell me a little bit about the piece behind us? This piece is called Happiness. Every rainbow doesn't have to have this perfect arc to it. So this piece, you know, you can have happiness in your life and it can take any form. Thanks, Garib. This piece by Mezplay, appropriately named Killing Time, uses ferrofluid and sensors to react to anybody nearby. It's hypnotic and breathtaking. Wouldn't be surprised to see this artist's work in a museum soon. Time sure flies when you're having art fun. We're out of time for this special edition of Art Scene. Don't be sad. Click the link now and check out part two of Art Scene in Miami.